Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up and use a bidirectional relationship field with an easy post or a repeater element in Oxygen. So I've got quite a few things already set up, so I'll go ahead and walk you through those. Of course, the plugins needed for this kind of a setup, you'll need advanced custom fields, which is going to work the smoothest with Oxygen out of the box. You're going to need code snippets or an equivalent plugin to make your relationship field bidirectional. And then you're going to need something to register a custom post type. That is, if you're using custom post types. In this example, we'll be using books and authors. And kind of on the books post, we'll be registering which author wrote the book. And on the authors post, we'll be registering which books they wrote. So once we have all of our plugins installed, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our fields are set up. So let's go to custom fields and I'll show you what I've set up here. I've named my field group book and author fields because we're gonna use the same relationship field for both books and authors. And I've just named it associated with to leave it kind of generic so that it makes sense on both books and authors. And this is just a relationship field. I've ticked a couple of these filters and left everything else pretty much default. And then of course, I have my custom post types, which I set up here in CPT UI named books and authors. And you will want to make sure that these posts, if you're using a custom post type, are set to have an archive, which you can find down here has archive. This is false by default. So when you're registering a custom post type that you want to show in an archive like we do here, you'll want to make sure that you set this to true. And this may be different if you're registering these post types with another plugin, but this is how it works in CPT UI. So now we have our custom post types, our custom fields, and then we need to make sure that our relationship field is bi-directional. So basically what I want to have happen is when I go to an author, let's pick Chuck, and I go down to my custom relationship field, and I choose a book here. Let's pick one that he doesn't have. We'll do this uh, Optio. So I've chosen a new book here to associate with this author. And now when I update it, if I go to that book, Chuck should now be listed as an author on that book. So I think this is the one I picked. We should go down here and associate it with, that is not, it's probably another Optio. Let's see, you gotta love all of these uh, Lorem Ipsum names. Let's search for Optio. And there's a couple of them, this might be the one. So if we go down here, you can see now that Chuck is an author here, just because we associated that book with Chuck. So now they're associated both ways. So that's what a bi-directional relationship field looks like. And to set that up, we just had to go to code snippets and set up a new snippet. And then the codes provided by ACF over here on their website under advancedcustomfields.com slash resources slash bi-directional dash relationships. And they give you all the code that you need. The only part you need to change is at the very bottom where they add a filter. The name of your field needs to be right here. So my field's named associated underscore with. So I just popped that in there and then we get that bi-directional behavior where if I check an author on a book post, that book is then in the associated with field on the author post as well. So then I just generated some books and some authors using FakerPress so that I had some data to render. Next up, we have our templates. So let's go to templates and we have a main template with a header and some navigation. Then we have an author and book archive so that we can view a list of our authors and books. And then the one we're gonna be working with today is the single book and author template. So let's jump into that with Oxygen. So here's what this template looks like. So we have some dynamic data here. This is the featured image and we have the title here and the content right here. So this is gonna show everything about this author or book. So we scroll down and we can see the author's bio or whatever we put in here. If we go to books 
and pick a book, it's gonna use the same exact template. But the part that we want to adjust is over here on the right-hand side. So books by this author, that makes sense for an author. And then we want to, uh, on a book post, we wanna change that to say, written by, and then a link to the author's entry for that author. So let's jump into the template and we can start in on that. And now the nice thing is our relationship field's already set up, so this becomes a relatively simple task. I'm using an easy post element here, but this does work with the repeater as well. Uh, to make this fetch the posts that are associated with this author in the relationship field, we just need to go to query, go to advanced query and click edit query. And we're gonna add a query parameter and we're gonna look for post underscore underscore in, which is down here a little ways. There it is, let's click that, and then let's add a value. Now we need to use the dynamic data button to fetch our advanced custom field associated with, and then we're just gonna add a comma as the separator here, and then in this dropdown, what do we want to insert? We'll choose the post object ID because the post underscore underscore in query parameter wants a comma separated list of IDs in this case. So let's close that out and then apply the query parameters. And now we have a list of books by this author and these all come from that associated with field on the author post itself. But now we need to make sure that, you know, this makes sense for uh, authors as well. So one of the easiest ways to do this is gonna be to use conditions. So we're gonna duplicate this text and change it to say written by. And then we wanna make sure these only show up uh, when we need them to. So let's set up a condition on this top one and we'll set a condition for the post type. So post type equals, and we wanna make sure that books by this author only shows up on book author posts. And then written by, we'll add a condition there and set the condition to post type and we'll choose book because that's gonna be the written by text, right? So on a book, we should see written by, and on an author, we should see books by this author. This doesn't have to change because it's just a query based on that relationship field. So let's save that, and then let's jump to the front end and just test it out real quick and make sure it works. So here we have Chuck Omnis, and we want to take a look at one of the books that he's written. And if we go there, we see written by Chuck Omnis. We go back to Chuck, we can pick a different book. And this is written by two people. So Chuck Omnis and S.A. Smith, both were involved in this one. And uh, S.A. Smith has written some stuff. So let's check out some of those. So you can see this uh, little bit of dynamic data and condition work and, and the advanced query that uses the dynamic data makes this a really, really convenient way to navigate through related post types. And we can go back to the books archive and pick another book. And then we immediately see, oh, Autumn wrote this. Let's see uh, what else Autumn has written. Oh, this looks interesting. Perfect. We can go to authors and say we like uh, Seth. We like stuff Seth has written in the past. We can see his full list of books that he's written. So while that is an incredibly simple thing to set up, it's also extremely powerful when you're creating dynamic sites with data that needs to be associated with each other, especially if you're using multiple post types, like in this case, books and authors. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to use an advanced custom fields relationship query with a repeater or easy posts in Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.